look at EG, besides telekinesis, the only way of really holding somebody down is in snare, right? Mm -hmm. So you can really easily swap people to safety, like especially the Lycan or the Bat Rider, if they need to actually get swapped back. Like Ten say they get lifted, like remaining. you were talking about Shane when he initiates them. You have a way to just save your bat from being sentenced Five to Five seconds remaining. Or they could even run it as somebody who's getting some semblance of farm. Because right now, maybe we're assuming Reserve they find time. Lycan and bat mid, I guess. That means we're looking at Visage Bench plus one tri lane, perhaps. Team Empire generally don't run their like mid. They, they yeah. run it in the more traditional safe lane. Silent you place it in the safe lane, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Resolution is going to be playing the bat. I don't By the way, I've seen him play about actually. Uh, to answer your question, EG has won the last five matches. It's Cloud Nine. Yeah, so they win like every game, yeah. pretty much. After Radiant that, one, before that, it was pretty even. Like they were yeah. pretty much trading equally. But the last five matches, which include MLG, TKO, America, and the D2L Western Challenge, all EG. To which I, I was talking to Envy, because Envy and I did some replay casting last night. Yeah. And I was like, oh, are you prepared for your match tomorrow? Ten the seconds team remaining. We have matches in the True League tomorrow. <laughs> Five I was like, you have EG, man. Remaining. Good luck. It's like, oh, shoot. All right, we need to prepare. Because I'm also preparing for the Star Ladder. Uh, mm -hmm. Reserve for time. A spot in Kiev. Is that a pass of three? <sighs> and I, mean, I understand MV where he's coming from because uh, we are not the second biggest prize pool aside from international in the right. West. So Makes sense. You don't need to prepare for EG if you don't need to. if we had items. Ooh, Chikiro. Radiant <laughs> if I had items, pick. I like that. <laughs> this is just a wombo combo, man. Like, sleep cancel into Ice Path and Vacuum. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's a really, really good amount of team fight. And they do have ways of stopping the Lycan. Like, potentially you can initiate with Song. If you take a fight, you can win the fight hard enough, I think, if you're EG, to warrant the Lycan split pushing into their lane. And because you have Naga and Darkseer and Weaver, there's actually three heroes that's really important to keep in mind. Ten and you can TP to a tower remaining. by yourself against the Lycan, which not a lot of heroes have the luxury of doing. Like, Rubik and Shakira couldn't seconds do that. Remaining. Because if the Lycan has ult, he just kills them. So being able to teleport and make the Lycan go, oh, I can't split push this, I Reserve have to back time. because somebody else TPs on top of it, I die. Well, here's the thing, though. If a Darkstar and Weaver teleports in the lane, Lycan just... It's fine, I'll keep hitting your tower. Like, I don't think... Well, oh, I don't think so. If you send Jakiro there and he has maxed out Liquid Fire, Dragon. and, like, most of the Lycans we see don't actually get a BKB. Ooh. Somebody DK now here. <laughs> my stats like. See, my stats like. Resolution yeah. Dragon Knight, okay. I'm still not sold the fact that... I, first of all, I agree with you in the sense that Rubik and Jakiro, if they solo TP, they defend the Lycan. Lycan just runs Yeah, they can't. Right. Uh, whereas Weaver, yeah, sure, he could TP in, but I don't. I think Lycan could just say, hey, I see you TPing in, but I'm going to still keep, keep it in here. What's Weaver going to do? And he also has Necro Book, it's a... Well, the thing is, you also have to account for vision, right? Like, if he doesn't have vision and somebody TPs, maybe he thinks he's getting ganked. He sure, might not see the fair. supports. So it's not necessarily the hero TPing can kill him. Prepare it's just the hero for TPing battle. gives him enough pressure like where he's like, ah, okay, maybe I should just back, you know? And keeping the tier ones alive against a Lycan as long as you can is always going to be really good. Because the less room you give that hero, the better. Yeah, we're looking at a lot of push coming out from Team Empire. A Dragonite, you know, an old favorite uh, of the of the pushing strat. Vengeful Spirit providing the aura. We know Lycan's going to provide a little bit of aura through that Vlad. So it's going to be fairly difficult for EG to defend. But, you know, their last pick on the support, I hear that we don't too, see too much because of his lackluster harass. Uh, it, it's going to be good, at least that. Against that Ice Path, Dual Breath, Liquid Fire coming in from long range. It's yeah. a pretty, pretty good way to slow down a push. Dragon Knight against uh, Nagasaur in a mid. Do they just trade pretty much evenly? And that's like. I would imagine pretty much they just farm. 30 yeah. seconds yeah. to battle. Riptide back. functions back. the same way that Breathe Fire functions, although I think Riptide's a lower cooldown and less damage, and Breathe Fire is a longer cooldown but more damage. And then DK has regen. So. They're probably just gonna look at each other menacingly yeah. and just hit creeps for a while. Yep. The one thing that EG. Um, they can potentially gank the DK, but it's gonna be a hard gank. Right? Like, even with all those same as Dragon Knight. The battle that begins. Really baller Darkseer set, by the way. What does he have on his back? Oh, it looks like a hat and it a looks pipe. Looks like a golf club. He's got a pipe. No, it's, it's a, I think. I don't think he's a plumber. I don't think they have plumbing in Dota 2. No, it's a golf club. He's going to hit the, the course after the game. <laughs> golf is so hard. It's ridiculous. My, my grandfather plays golf and he tried to teach me how to play. I'm just like, dude, this is, this is way harder than it looks. He's like, no, you're holding the club wrong. I'm like, dude, I, I'm just, I just want to hit the ball. 
But uh, it's gonna be a tri lane featuring a Dark Seer, so not something we see too often. Uh, I wonder what your hero's gonna pick. Normally, as to zone out offline, you take Liquid Fire because you increase your range. But I think in a tri lane versus tri lane, going your spells a little bit more. Yeah, yeah he, he's gonna go for Ice Path. Makes sense. When you have a lift to set it up and you have Ion Shield, it's quite high damage. Uh, this lane can pressure so, so easily. And Vengeful Spirit Visage can't really hold their own against these supports when the Darkseer is the one who's part of the tri lane. So that means that they're going to be giving uh, Mason a solo lane versus the Batrider, yeah. which I think still is going to go okay for him. I mean, Weaver versus Bat, uh, the, the Weaver should never die unless you make a couple of mistakes. Right. Yeah, so he, he should win this lane just through Harass and, and CS alone. So it's going to be tough, especially with the pools being warded off. I say that they'll always want to fly. did get a D-War, so they will have access to the pool uh, in the next 30 seconds. I like the way that EG decided to lane this out, because looking at their supports, not the best roam. I mean, let's be honest, at level 1, Jakiro and Rubik had zero damage between them. Right. It's a nice path, which I think is 50 damage, and then a lift. But they're going to be able to find Silent, Pelicanese into the Ice Path universe, going to eat a Grave Chill, taking a decent amount of damage. I don't really think anyone's going to be dying here. Oh, Vanscore, hold on, he's taking a lot more damage. He's going to surge the Iron Shell creep forward, and unfortunately it's not. Zai interestingly uses Liquid Fire onto the Lycan, which was already running away instead of Venge. I think with the like, Liquid Fire slow, it might have actually got the kill, but... It just it, slows attack speed, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, just attack doesn't, speed. Oh, it doesn't yeah, slow Yeah, not move speed. Okay. Now see, if they put in my dual breath change, mm. 6.81, that would have turn, turn speed, mm. man. 20%. Oh, I still think that's legit. I think but. it's legit. I mean, anything that slows turn speed, which is basically only one thing. Just sticking it on. Yeah. Sticking it on. yeah. The, uh, the lane is going as EG wanted to go, right? Like, Silent's not getting too much farm. In fact, he's actually, he's got 7 CS, which is pretty good. Yeah, but you also have to consider what the farm does on the hero. Like, Universe's farm, he's probably going to be going for an early mech, which is huge for his team. Mm -hmm. Lycan's going to need to build, like, a Vlad's into a Book 3, which is, what, like a 6,000-plus gold investment right. that he has to make before he's yeah. really going to start being that much of a threat. So I think even in the circumstance that Silent gets a little bit of farm, it's still going to be fine for EG because they're going to plan on pushing into Empire. Yep. And normally, uh, a lot of that farm comes from those Tier 1 towers in the offlane. You know, when, when you said Darkseer versus the particular tri lane, Darkseer is going to lose that Tier 1 tower. Versus in this case, you can see EG is pressuring the lane so much that, in fact, it's going to be EG uh, probably taking that Tier 1 if they get a kill or two in this tri lane against Empire. And I think it's really possible as well. Like, because of the Iron Shell consistently pushing out the wave, you have so many opportunities to dive because your creep wave is always pretty much under their power. Ooh, Magic Missile is going to fly on PPD, but there's really no follow-up. They in fact going to lift right there, Ice Path, no Liquid Fire first. Oh, just back off. I don't think Zai was ready for that. It really felt like he wasn't expecting uh, PPD to go. Yeah, he was turning And it was way. really close to the tower anyway, so maybe a bit sketchy of a dive. I mean, they weren't expecting a random Magic Missile to fly off. Yeah, that uh, was a little bit strange. And, and that's actually pretty bad for Ventral Spirit because... Ascore doesn't have the biggest mono pool in that hero, so, you know, out of clarity at this point. Do you ever think that's going to be a Nice pass, going to go on Silent. Damn job was going to be there, but it's not going to be enough in the universe, though. Takes a soul assumption to the face, so he's going to back off as well. Well, trading uh, in terms of regen, but Darkster's got a south. I'm not sure if Lycan did. Oh, Zai's actually not skilling dual breath at all. I would think you would Radiance get at middle least one tower is slow, under right? attack. Like, I don't think a second point into Liquid Fire is worth the extra damage as opposed to having the nuke, you know? Because you have to assume more uptime on your auto attacks would equate to more damage than one more point in liquid fire, right? Yeah. At least that's my assumption. But. Maybe they're saying that we can't kill that one, so we the last one. I say that though, they're making the dive, always want to fly, it's going to get hit, and here comes PPT moving very, very fast. They lift him up, the iron shell damage is going to be there, first always want to fly, it's going to drop the first blood, and it's going to be Zai that picks it up. Well, it seems like they didn't need to regret, at least in that occasion. Yeah, just a little bit of overstaying, you're welcome. Tower it's just good awareness by EG. They knew that the supports, or one of the other supports, uh, Vanscore and Silent, were both basically <laughs> push out a lane. And that's just keeping track of support regen, right? Like you were talking about how it's really important oh, for no. the, uh, the Ventral Spirits to always have mana. Silent accidentally made a Tranquil Boost. Ah, oh, man. He had to buy it or sell it. But yeah, if he yeah. accidentally made them, you can still disassemble, disassemble them, within yeah, yeah. 15 seconds, so it should be fine. Like, many times I've done that, it's ridiculous. If you buy Tranquil Boots, can you still have the regen on and then disassemble it? Yes. And then leave the ring of regen somewhere and then pick it back up or something like yes. that and just yes. keep doing that? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, actually. Does MB do it? I mean, you could just buy it and get help or whatever. 
I get. Does that do it? I yeah. don't know. Dude, this tower is so the liquid dead. fire. Is yeah, the liquid amazing. fire. I get it now. It's just for the push. Radiance bottom tower. Radiance bottom tower like has exactly fallen. What so EG secure the safe lane tier one. And then fire here at five minutes into the game. Pretty damn fast tower. And resolution is just gonna start auto attacking with his dragon form. I guarantee what hundred damage on the tower every yeah. single time you hit it. Mm -hmm. I just want to echo something that you brought Daya's up. Daya's middle so tower is under to attack. Be the aggressor against Lycan because where does he actually farm now? Yeah. But he doesn't have that seven minute VATS, which is almost like guaranteed nowadays to the, to the uh, Lycan. And you can't push any tier one towers. In fact, the support of EG is not leaving the jungle. They're going to be harassing. But looks like Darkster is going to be. Oh, well, Universe is going to run to the left side, but he needs support coming out oh, from his man, players. Oh, he's so dead. Uh, oh, maybe. If he, he gets all the though. Okay. okay. He's going to have surge in one second. Oh, he's going to surge. Path. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Fine. That ice path was so good. It really was, yeah. Like, the cast animation of Surge isn't that long, but I think it might have been long enough for Vanscore to get a range to stun. He was actually quite far away, though, so who knows. Meanwhile, if we look at the farm on the other lane, we have mid-40 CS on Arteezy. Resolution, you know, pretty much same, 38 and, and 5 to 9. On the top lane, though, I think that's where the lane is really winning for EG. Weaver's got 40, Batrider's got 27. As expected, Weaver dominating this thing. Then Midas is coming at him as well. I wouldn't say he's dominating, but he's doing well. Like, I don't think being 10 CS ahead is, is necessarily like crushing it, but he's he's doing good enough. And the other thing is too, the Batrider can't really just go to his jungle, especially if Silent needs it at some point, right? Like if he needs to go to the jungle, then all of a sudden, sure, the Batrider can still stack like one or two camps. But you're gonna need somebody to farm the dangerous spots of the map, which right now I don't think anybody can do it. He's gonna be taking some damage, drops to a soul assumption after resolution throws a dragon tail and a breathe fire, so Empire get themselves on the board. Even though it's just a support kill, it's pretty much all tied up. The downside of uh, leaving your support to get a little bit of experience. Uh, the courier fading. Second, look at the engagement on the bottom lane. Jungle Ooh, is gonna get damage. a ton of damage. The wolves are coming in right now, and each, each hit's gonna do a lot. The wolves are blocking. Ice Cap's gonna be right there. The Iron Shell's gonna be burning Silent up. In fact, it's gonna be Silent dying. Silent's out of mana at this point. Level 5, no <laughs> ultimate anymore. <laughs> the universe is gonna walk him down. Yep, Surge. Uh, Did you don't, please don't don't lose this kill. No. All right, he's got this. Yeah, as I died to the wolves, but more than worth, honestly. Yep. In fact, I think always want to fly is gonna die. Oh. There's gonna be lift, toss back, and then he vacuum he puts on iron shell, vacuum back. Tower's gonna get taken here by universe. Ooh. One more hit. Surge is gonna come Radiant's in. Vacuum missile's gonna hit. Soul assumption's gonna come through. Minus armor and universe Dyer's run out, but the tower, that the tower hates <laughs> universe. They're gonna get him. Iron Shell though, it's gonna kill him. Vanscore the creep. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Well, MVP okay. creep. Okay. Well, that guy just died to an Iron Shell creep. This is the best of the time. That creep has some monster energy in it. Uh, it really did. Yeah. It really, really did. That was so aggressive by Universe though, like running past the tier two like that. Vanscore having the timing to be there with the magic missile to save always want to fly and then die anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, Universe died first, and he wasn't in experience range regardless, but still. I mean, if Universe had lived there and gotten that kill, that would have been his mech. Yeah. But now he doesn't have it. He's, he still have it soon, but pretty close, yeah. he doesn't have it yet. Wolf's going to scout at Universe. DPD's behind Silent. He just hit six. He does have Wolf form, so he should be able to get the heck out of here. If he's he's not using it yet. But yeah, he doesn't even need it. The problem is, yeah, he's surviving these ganks, but, but he's not farming. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what Silent's gonna do. Meanwhile, His net worth is like a little bit higher than the Jakiras. Speaking of net worth, if you look at Arteezy, Arteezy's at 2,800 gold. So we're yeah. seeing Relic very, very soon. Well, he's been abusing the Courier a lot, and he's yeah. maxing his illusions. He doesn't Daya's even have any tower is attack. under attack. So he's using all of his mana to spam Riptide in the jungle, farm uh, other creep waves and such. So this is like typical Arteezy Naga. Is that because he realizes that, like, does he think that the Empire has no aggression? Like, well, they can't have any aggression because they have an Dyer's aggressive tri lane. Like, in bottom fortified. lane, the Empire has to defend their Lycan. Dyer's middle tower drones. is under yeah, attack. If they don't defend their Lycan, what are they going to do? Like, they're going to leave Silent down there out to dry and they're going to try to gank a Naga with Song? I mean, it's it's not really a good plan B. You know? yeah. It's just really difficult for Empire to move, I think. Yeah, they're going to maybe Song deny our people thought about Dyer's it. Dyer's middle like, tower you know, has fallen. That he's on Dragonite. That's pretty scary to know. Uh, Ar yeah. This is not a game-to-game -game adjustment by Arteezy. He never gets in snare. Uh, well, he did. He did for a while. Really? But he would leave it at one. Like, yeah, he yeah. would get one point. And then, oh, Envy was the one that never gets, uh... Yeah. Oh, Universe. Where's the Magic Missile? In fact, oh, nicely done. Waits for the Surge, and then Magic Missile. And here comes the Big Bad Wolf, trying to run him down. The Surge is out. 
So, is there gonna be any Jew coming out from Universe? Nah, they got it. He at least fought. Like, he has his mech recipe. He's got his TP. It wasn't that terrible of a death. And to be honest, Resolution had a haste and he was gonna cut him off anyway. Mm -hmm. More importantly, the Silent got the kill, so... Yeah. He's actually got two kills. Despite how the early game has been doing. He's only got one death as well. Yeah, he's got 38 CS though. Yeah. And that's, that's <laughs> the problem. Because Artizi and Mason are both at 71. Radiance middle which is, uh, tower is under attack. Yeah. Do you think Loken has any comeback, like as, as far as carry heroes go? I think that he doesn't necessarily play amazing from behind, but he still does a lot of damage, which is what you need him for, right? Like you go and you try to kill a quick tier one, maybe EG for some time decides, okay, we've punished him enough, let's go do something else, and then Silent is able to get like the tier one bottom, yeah. or something like that. Lycan always has that potential in terms of killing a tower. Now, if you have a book three, and you have Treads and Vlads, then of course you're going to be way stronger. There's no denying that, but Radiant's I still feel as though he can, he can be attack. a threat if EG chooses to ignore him, even for a little bit of time. Okay. Well, right now, EG is uh, taking a tier one tower up top, and that Liquid Fire, which seems to be maxed out, is very, very hard. Well, here yeah. comes the initiation. They should have enough chains to actually kill Mason. Here comes the Dragon Town. Flame Breath is going to seal this yield. Nicely done. Tower is not going to be put in denying range, so they'll have that tower for another day. I think they could push down a tier 1 tower as well because EG doesn't really excel in counter push because Jakira only has two points in terms of ice path. He doesn't have a max dual breath. Dyer's yeah, I like the rotation though because attack. they just killed Universe bottom and they knew that there was a really low probability that there were going to be enough people in bottom lane to really pressure Silent. So the supports had the opportunity to actually move from that lane. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, we just got to kill. Dyer's the pressure is relieved. Let's go somewhere fallen. else and make something happen because EG Radiant's has been the ones that take the pace. Now Empire decided to try to take something oh, off of them. Touch. It helps out the Blink Daggers online as well, yeah. uh, on the Bat Rider, so they, they got that one going. They defend tier 1 mid as well. Despite how the lane has been going for a Team Empire, they've been rotating extremely well in their, their I want to say, back in this game. Oh, they denied the rune by like Yeah, the Blink Dagger kind of puts them in a position where they can play aggressively now, whereas before they were kind of just waiting for Mag to have some form of initiation, because that's what we talked about too. I mean, your Venge isn't going to have level 2 swap for a very long time in a tri lane, especially when that tri lane wasn't really pulling. So. If you need to buy time, the best way to do that is to try to force fights away from Silent, right? Mm -hmm. And having the Blink Dagger allows him to do that. The Relic got finished at 12 minutes. Yeah. I mean, Arteezy is farming pretty darn fast, but this is this is what Arteezy does, man. He this gets items. Pretty standard timing, actually, for Arteezy, 12-minute Relic. Yeah, four, I like how it's just for Arteezy. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. not normal people, just Arteezy. No, just Arteezy. <laughs> I haven't seen other players do it. Uh, well, obviously, his team's been doing a lot, right? Like, his team yeah. is putting amazing pressure on the bot lane and really drawing a lot of focus away from Arteezy and allowing him to do just this. But uh, here comes a comeback Midas from Lycan. I thought he was going to go treads and, you know, go for the standard stuff, but very interesting way to play this game. I'm not sure what your thoughts on that, Andy. I think it's actually okay. I think they started to realize now that people on EG are starting to move around because once the tier one dies, this is like an age old saying, don't kill the tier one too quickly, you know, because then all of a sudden that lane might become unfarmable for some point in time or your supports might just have a tendency to not like want to stick around there anymore because that, there's nothing to do. That, uh, so that gives Dyer's silent room, right? And this is, is what we were talking about too. They ignore him for a little Radiant's while, he gets the tower. So now all of a sudden he's up to 1200 gold on top of his comeback Midas, and now the DK has a BKB. The tower's going to be denied as well. Mag, Radiant's uh, middle tower Naga has leaders. been denied. Is that like a Grandpa Andy saying? Back That's like a days. back in my day. Back in my days, we don't kill the T1 that Get early. Get off my lawn. Yeah. No, but I think killing the tier 1 was fine. I just think that it was just an unexpected effect of killing the tier one, you know? Well, because you can't go tier two that early against Empire because eventually they know that Mag is gonna have a blink and what, the tier one dropped at like eight, nine minutes or something like that? Uh, University. Maybe a little bit sooner. Get out of there, magic missile. The swap's gonna be there. The magic missile's gonna be there. The birds are stunning. The chain stun, the mech's gonna be there, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, the long pause of that wolf. I mean, to that, I wanna say that EG did actually send multiple oh, resolutions. He's got a BKB if he chooses to use the blink forward coming in from Mag as well. They're able to pick off Zai right away. Mason, he wants to get the heck out of here. No detection, though. The bug's on him. In fact, Mason want to come back in. Mason go. is such a man. That is a blink force, by the way, yep. on Mag. Jeez, Mag is farming really well. But here we go. Radiance is online. So the game begins. I kind of have a little bit of a worry for EG right now because Naga with a Radiance is great. But... You have to take away farm from your team to fully utilize this build, okay? So let's say that he takes away farm from pretty much 
universe, I guess, Zion PPD, because Mason, he needs another lane, right? Like, he needs to be able to farm somewhere. Mm. So that means your supports are going to be massively under level if you're going to be abusing this kind of farm. Although, I guess if he farms Empire's Dyer's side of the map, it's not so bad. <laughs> my worry, farms his. and I agree with you, but my worry is, is comprise them now. Like, if Empire push all your tier twos now, what can EG do? I just yeah. don't think they can actually counter push. I think the RTZ problem of taking farm means they would be stabilized and they would actually do stuff. But Radiance I think we're very, far, we're very, very far away from that. So I think it's very important for Empire right now to do something. And here we go, smoke on the top lane. And let's see if they're gonna find any pickoff. I think Naga is actually really, really good against Lycan because she always pushes out all the lanes and doesn't give Lycan that space to split push at all. Yeah, no, I agree that that's the way he should be playing it. And yeah. you're right, like you're absolutely right. But I just have a concern that if there's ever an opportunity Ooh, for Empire to jump and the block. one lane is pushed in, Wolf oh, wolf. wow. He has he no mana for song. The Radiance actually like doesn't even hurt the wolves because of the regen and the magic <laughs> damage reduction. Oh, man, if they got Naga, they would have been big, but they're going to find Jakiro instead. Whoa. Yeah, Zai's going to get found, but do they not want him? No, they're going to just leave the support. In one fact, two. it's going to be Meg going for PPD instead. Zai gets blown up. PPD's going to be there, but here comes Darkseer with the Meg. Vacuum's going to be on top. No wall drop just yet because no wall has been leveled. Universe trying to run. The Meg gets used. Where's the Dragon Tail? It's going to land on our t uh, Universe. Universe. Where's the yeah, there's going to be there. Song's going to come back in. If they want to fight this, they want Resolution. Resolution could fight his way out of there. They see Mason. Can Mason burn? Burst, I don't know. He time lapsed and RTC now is low. He gets stunned up. Can they have a second oh dragon no. breath? They will. They're gonna get the kill. Swap on PPD. Venge is gonna die. Max gonna get the kill. The illusion of RTC though is still burning. <laughs> and Mason finds himself a double. Meanwhile, what has Silent been doing? I guess just pushing the wave. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, lesson. that was a really awkward engagement because it was pretty clear that RTC was getting wolf blocked. And unless he was microing his illusions, which I could maybe think that he didn't know that he was getting blocked because mm -hmm. of that. Like, if you look away, of course, you're not going to see that you're getting blocked. And then Zai just casually walks up the hill? Like, that was that was a questionable start to the fight. I don't know. I, I think when Naga got stunned as well from DK and couldn't song. Like, I'm not sure whether she had mana. No, she like, he had a lot of mana. He just got chain stunned, like, he couldn't do anything. He okay. bottle crowed. I yeah. see. But it was pretty fortunate that he had an illusion that was just at like full HP because the Radiance burn that he wouldn't have had normally was there the whole time. Mm -hmm. And that does add up, especially when it's only like 17 minutes in. So I like how the courier has 11 damage. It does. Yeah. Hard courier. That courier is going gonna, gonna to hit things. What is, what is that supposed to be? A throw. It reminds me of that thing from the never ending story, you know, like the... Yeah, the, the but that was like a... It was like a dog. Yeah, like right? a French poodle, but very, yeah, yeah. very long. Every time I see the EG throw, I just hover it and see how many replays PP has watched. 68 yeah. of their own games. Not that's a lot enough. of replays. Well, you... Maybe that, that actually is a big number. That's that's hashtag hard work and dedication, man. 68 replays. Is it replays? Well, count? I mean, he hasn't been on the team that long. No, 68, 68 replays uh, is probably EG replays. But, but does, does it really? Maybe it counts the game he's in. Maybe. In which case, it's he didn't actually watch any replays. <laughs> yeah, and stare against birds don't work. He tried. RTC and stare the birds, and the birds just flew out. <laughs> magic resist, bro. Or magic immune. I doubt them birds. Don't yeah, worry. but I mean, he didn't snare his BKB units. Yeah. So, maybe he thought, okay, this is yeah. magic immune. It comes oh, again, man. the illusions... It's gonna bl uh, cancel the blink dagger on Mac momentarily, but they, they won't oh, come they in. All right, Firefly. Oh, they won PPT, but the lift is going to be on top. The Ice Blast, the Ice Pass. Mag's going to be okay, though. Nice back in the wall, and now Max dropping low. DK, BK beat up. He wants to kill Zai before anything else happens, but he has to turn tail and run. Resolution down to about half HP. What is the team fight going on? They find Mason, but they don't have any damage. Song's going to cancel everything else, and it's going to be re-engaged. They see Mag in there. Can they lift him up? I don't know about this, the Riftside actually managed to have three, but Arteza gets instantly bursted down by the immediate Dragon Tail, and Mag is stuck on the cliff over here. They <laughs> had blade. vision of him He's on the blade. high ground, but Mason is trying to get the heck out of here. Mag blinks forward, throws in a flame break to secure the kill. That was a really questionable song from Arteza, I have to say. Like, they were hit by, like, a four-man ice path, and he just songed right over it. Yeah. And then when he let go, he no one was exploded. really prepared. But the, yeah. but, but the thing is, Mason Mason was lassoed by the uh, Bat Rider, so I, I I thought he was using it to save him. But the the problem is, once the song came down, the cooldown for Empire all reset because they initiated first. They threw out their spells first, whereas EG just threw out their spells. So once the song ended, yeah, Empire was, was like round two, and EG's like, guys, I still have cooldown. It was just a poor usage of the song, really. Yeah. I mean, 
thinking is they lost Mason and Arteezy. So in the circumstance that you want to save somebody on your team, I get that you would song, but even if you songed there, the three or four other members of Empire were all ice pathed anyway. Yep. So, yeah, not not the greatest exchange for EG. And uh, Empire, they're still, I would say, in a dominant position right now. They just finished book three on Lycan as well. Yeah, at 20 minutes in. And this is a, a Lycan who got aggressively challenged against. So as far as the whole, can you really hold a Lycan down hard enough? Apparently not. He had boots and a ring of protection at like eight minutes in. Yeah. But that's just all because of Empire's rotations, man. Like, just the awareness to say, okay, we killed Universe, no pressure in the lane, silent farm, we're gonna immediately go counter gank top as soon as the blink comes out. Now, granted, that was fortuitous timing. Like, it was pretty lucky that they had the blink when they wanted to do that. But they still executed it, yeah. you know? Radiance that's what makes Empire so ridiculous. Bugs! The Roshan seems to be free at this point here, as uh, nobody yeah. on Radiance the is going to uh, defend that. Fallen. And they know that there's no song available because it was used in the last team fight. So, yeah, silent. To the oh, Aegis. On it's on Resolution. resolution. Which yeah. makes sense because Resolution's been running in head first and he's been dying very quickly. Like, the, the first damage on Aegis is pretty respectable. Attack. But do you want an Aegis on a Dragon Knight that when he comes back, he doesn't have the Dragon form and it's kind of a match? Well, same thing for Lycan, right? I think, Lycan, you, yeah. I think you save your Dragon form for when you come back up. Ooh, initiation back in, back into the ice path. What a play. Matt gets lifted up. He gets bursted down and TP's gonna come in from Lycan. He really Radiant wants a map like this. TP into four, no problem. Oh. The Harmony's gonna be here and Arteezy forces Song. What a hero, Lycan. What a hero. Oh, oh he's actually in jump. Uh, Zai's oh. dead. Oh, he walked too far away. <laughs> he, just, him. he just ditched his teammate, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. Arteezy says, I'm, I'm fine, guys. Yeah. I don't know about Save you Save yourselves. Poor Zai. You got a feel for the guy. Yeah, that was um, that was Th cold blooded, man. That's a throw. <laughs> well, no, no, look, that's a throw. Like what? Uh, no anymore. What? I don't know. What they you're were showing about. the easy courier. Yeah, and it's called a throw. Oh, okay. I was making a joke, guys. Right? I couldn't see it. I'm, alo I I'm allowed to make jokes during pauses. We, we have a pause, and then I had to put the thing down here because otherwise people see this huge white thing that I'm holding, mm. and it's like, it's look like, what this courier is called. Pretty weird. Wekon Umpak Empire. That's definitely not how you say that. No, no, no. probably not. I'm pretty much You're an expert fluent, on it. Fluent You're Russian speaker. You're an expert Russian. Yeah. Russian, yeah. Irish, all the same, I right? I have no idea what any yeah, of that apparently. means. Pretty much. All right, we're back. Yeah, we're, we're good. Game. We're, we're in it. Woo! We're in it to win it. Okay, so if you're EG, are you just relying on Mason and Arteezy to take you into the late game? Because right now, Mason has Midas and Lincolns. The do nothing build. The the actual do nothing build. Yeah, I mean it's tough. Like PBD and Zai are about level eight. Ooh. Yeah, and they're not having a great time, and they they won't get much more because of Arteezy and his illusion army. I think the EG game plan is Dyer's let's try to not lose in the next twenty minutes and because they, they actually have zero Dyer's initiation, right? The lineup actually has fallen. no initiation. Hey, ice path. Blink Darkseer is oh, initiation. They, they had, I guess, yeah, ice path and, and vacuum into ice path. Yeah, they have initiation. Song into into. And ice they path. got the bad top, but uh, you know, I don't know, man. How seems um. Seems rough, but Arteezy's doing the right thing. I mean, he's farming Empire's side of the map, so that way the rest of his teammates can stay and get experience from their side. Like, typically you don't want to farm the safe spot if you're a carry, and you know that you have the potential to get away from ganks, so... Yeah. This is pretty much what he has to do. Mm -hmm. Mason pretty much has to adopt the same kind of a strategy, but I guess they're just going to smoke gank on the Empire's side of the map, and just hope that they can find somebody, or maybe even just go for the Tier 2 tower, which I think is also a, a pretty good choice. But they're not able to Dyer's keep all the lanes pushed out because attack. there's always birds in a lane. Like, yes. the Visage is keeping top pushed in indefinitely. So like Shane was saying, uh, you want the Naga to be able to push the lanes out so the Lycan can't just freely walk up to your base. Well, I think that keeping all three lanes pushed out against Empire is a bit optimistic. Yeah, also Silent all, uh, bought a Butcher Travel, which I think is a great choice considering this game is much more about where the Creepilibrium is, uh, kind of global mobility. And he could stay back and counter push Naga with ease and join his team wherever they are. Uh, currently in the mid lane, and look you to actually break down that tier too. Keep in mind that Dragon Knight has been fairly silent in this game. Um, but he can push down towers quite easily as well. Well, I mean, he's 5 1 and 3. He's, he's not been doing that bad. He's just taking a lot of hits in the beginning because yeah. he's always the one who goes in first. If you're silent in this case, oh, wow. you just finish your Necro book, what do you get? What's the next item? Well, he could go BKB. 
just to say, okay, I'm gonna pop my BKB and kill a tower. Because unless they ensnare him, and even if they ensnare, like, they still have no damage. Yeah. Like, how are they gonna kill him if he has a BKB? I just, I don't see how they could do that. He what could about, also go AC. Yeah, yeah, it looks like so. Resolution might be going AC. Yeah, Abyssal's not bad. Yeah, you're right, Resolution actually is going AC. So he probably... I mean, Basher is a good choice, but he doesn't have treads, and I think that maybe he wants a little bit more attack speed before he would buy a Basher. I don't know. Lasso on the background here is going to be on Universe Song nice immediately rescue, and that's going to set up a perfect vacuum wall if they want it. Wall set up universe dropping him no there's um, nothing there's nothing coming out resolution sees zai zai's gonna be the lesser of dragon he's gonna be dead the resolution on the front line doing so much time lapse back here from mason he's gonna be fine but that tier three tower not so fine because the entire army that of wolves damage. like it was bird shit everything rex goes down they can't do anything. Wow, Ooh, nice oh. backing coming up from Universe. Well, hits on all four. Here comes the turnaround. Aegis is going to be popped as well, and Resolution always want to fly. Tries to TP, can't quite get it off. Mason now trying to focus Resolution, but has a Shadow Blade and will get away. Always want to fly, unfortunately. Not going to be so lucky. It's oh. the patented Regus. <laughs> so, actually, what happened was Universe was standing at the side of the fight, and Mag used a Flame Break, because he spawned a Flame Break on him, and it cancelled his blink. Um, yeah, and he couldn't blink in you know, and wall. You know what else happened? Vanscore swapped Mason in, yeah, and he killed Mag because yep. of the swap, because he like swapped him closer to Mag <laughs> because he wanted to focus on Mason. So a bit of miscommunication there by Empire. But even though they lost what three there and the Aegis, they killed the Rax. Yeah. Yep. So I mean the damage was dealt. What is Rax? Hashtag lost worth. When you have a Naga with a Radiance though. It is actually because if you have a Rax down. Less gold. And you have a Naga on your team, yeah, it's, it's less gold. People would argue that the lane's always going to be on your side of the map, so you can always farm it. But you don't want that against Empire's team. You don't want the lane on your side of the map. You want to push it out. Also, so. I don't think the Naga is at that one stage where she's, like, unkillable, you know, with a Heart Butterfly, Manta, and, you know, like, that's a full six slot yet. And at that right. point, I think Empire still could just say, hey, we, got, or we are going to kill you. And to that, if you look at the DK, very close to the AC. Uh, the big problem is that if the five-man wall, which somehow Universe always finds, they're going to get an AC and a Vlad for themselves, which actually bolster EG's team fight by quite a bit. Mm, uh, Shane, yes? Leo on Twitter for you says that the Empire Courier means Empire's sixth player. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Thank you, Leo. They're including it, man. They're including the Courier yeah. as part of the team. That thing works really hard and is very underappreciated. And he brings them beers. It's true. Look, nobody's courier works as hard as EG's courier, let's be real. That's also probably true. Yeah. Overworked. They should have a union. EG is like, yep, you're flying all day. Burst on cooldown whenever. That courier is probably in the best shape of any courier <laughs> in Dota. He has protein shakes every morning. He needs them, man. Fit like demon. It's cardio all day. So it looks like the choice of the uh, item was actually going to be Desolator by Silent, unless it's no, a BKB recipe. Bar. Oh, he is going BKB, yeah. okay. I thought Deso because typically people buy the Yogurt Club and not the Mithril Hammer yeah, first if they're going to make BKB. So BKB I still think is fine because it, it makes him more or less invulnerable. Like how the heck are they going to kill a BKB Lycan with that team? I don't know, Captain. I mean, the shuttle flies. The shuttle flies. there is the bugs. Gemini attack. Yeah, but normally, like, before people started doing the illusion split push Naga, people would always have max and snare, which is five seconds. Yeah. For right, BKB, five seconds of, of not being mobile is huge for Lycan. Yeah. He's right? actually because learning stats instead of leveling up in snare. Yeah, because the illusions gain benefit from mm -hmm. the stats. I That's think just... post 16, he should actually go back to in snare. Once he noticed so? the BKB on the, on the uh, Lycan. Like just having a way to punish Dyer's him, right? But maybe they just assume that he would get swapped. Attack. I don't know. It's, it's a really hard place for AG because I'm not sure having the max and snare would, would really allow them to get kills. I just think that it's something that might be nice to have in some situations, assuming swap is down. They see RTZ in level... Oh, Resolution finds PPD in the side. He's going to throw Dragon Tail, long range hell. And a couple more auto attacks from Resolution get the kill. Going to be a bot to the creep wave here. Looks like Empire want to go for the tier 2 bottom. The AC is going to be flying in momentarily. Yeah, meanwhile, well. Zaya and Mason Zaya says, you know what? We're going to just try to make the best of it, get a tier 2 trade on the top. So they're pushing hard, especially when Silent just bought it. Yeah, but they cannot push nearly Dyer's as hard as Yeah, they're, they're going to tr try to get a tier 2 and just defend, because here Radiant's comes Empire. They want to take your racks. With the Vengeful Spirit Aura and Howl, the amount of damage that Empire does is ridiculous. Here we go. All right, Song to delay. 
This is a three-man vacuum if Universe is here. Dude, Universe is going to find a five. There's the ice cap. Vacuum just going to be hitting on everybody. Wall Vansko is going to die immediately. I say that. The mech's going to be back up. Universe in the back line here. He's going to get focused by everybody. Universe is gone. Silent. BKB use. It's out. So he has to now focus on the illusions. There's a dragon. There's a DK dragon on the other side. They have to deal with that one because that's also very annoying. Resolution's had his AC in the base, like even before that push, he just hasn't got it out to him. It's kind of strange. Yeah, I mean, the thing with that vacuum wall was it only hit Vanscore. Yeah. And then Dyer's the only reason there's a uh, DK illusion is because Resolution walks through it on his way out of their base. He's like, yeah, I just, I killed your, your, um, your Jakira, I'm out, see ya. You know, and this is another issue too that EG are running into is I mentioned the supports kind of getting phased out because they're not the ones getting the farm, but this is a Jakiro Rubik. These are two support heroes who basically don't do any form of physical damage at all. Yep. They contribute nothing other than disables and liquid fire. Liquid fire is legit. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's not legit because they used it to kill the tier one pretty quick. It worked out. Like the reason they picked the hero was to pressure the Lycan, they pressured the Lycan. But when the mid game doesn't go favorably for you and you have two heroes on the side of Empire who are going to make BKBs like 100% of the time, it means that your lineup needs Mason and Arteezy to be able to essentially like 2v5 because the supports of Empire are able to contribute so much more in the fights that EG are basically playing down two players. And it's, I, not, it's not because of play, it's just because of the heroes are limited, right? I agree, but I think they're getting there. If you look at really what came out of that previous team fight, they traded tier two for tier two, and I think if you're down like EG, you want to trade, and they lost, what, two supports for... They nearly Vansport? killed the tier three as well. Yeah, I mean, the tier three is defended as well. So the way I see it, EG won that fight because they traded sort of all right. What, what's happening right now, unfortunately for them, is that they're going to lose agents. Yeah. Oh, and this ult might range. get revealed as well. Arteezy gets spotted up by Mag. Does he want to actually go for it? He's playing it quite passively. PPD's going to drop a Sentry in the middle lane. Oops, I throwing out a nice pass. Nice blink, yeah. Mag Mag, Max blink got cancelled by the Radiance, so he couldn't blink on Arteezy. Yeah. But Song's going to get used. They want Mag dead, or at least one of these guys. He knows the blink's down. Mag could force that band score and swap, or he could just force that himself. But the Ice Pass is going to hit on two wall on top. Okay. That's two. I mean, the question is, do they do enough damage to at least take down tier two, force out a couple of buyback? In fact, they see always want to fly. They're going to get him dead as well. That's three kills. Gem hits the back. So, all right, I think EG is uh, at least going to get the tier two, if not a tier three. Yeah, that was a really, really nice turnaround. An excellent song from RTZ. I must say, the last few have been a bit questionable, but that one was a really good song. Oh no, Resolution doesn't get the BKB off. He actually gets chased out into the ice path. He's got agents. He's going to be able to repop here. BKB pop by Silent. He's got the ult. He's going to town on Universe, though, of all people. Not really doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. Gucci away. Ice path going to hit on pretty much just a Necro Creep. And uh, I think our Observer PC just broke because it's not moving anymore. Uh -oh. But they're going to be able to find Zai. All right, radio well. talk, guys. Gem still middle tower on the ground. Arteezy's quite low in terms of HP, no mana for the song, and here comes Silent. Silent does not have shape for Radiant's seconds. The wolf galloping Radiant's graciously. Arteezy, Arteezy purges it. Is Lycan gonna chase? You bet he, your ass he will, because here comes Shapeshift. No bash. Ooh. Oh, uh. he's out of there. Okay, so uh, I think the Observer PC is like really, really screwed up. Because it's um, maybe Weber just fell asleep. Soupy. No, I don't, I don't think he fell asleep. He was, he was quite awake. The Intermission. Last time I saw him. But. Okay, so who um, obviously didn't, didn't get a chance to see the fight. They managed to get a couple more kills, basically. Okay, what is going on right I now? I think it's... The switching PC. His mouse is dying. Oh, his keyboard and mouse are dying. That's what happened. Okay. So, yeah, he, he is obviously <laughs> having some <laughs> issues. <laughs> But I, I think we're before, watching Lumi's PC. No, in before okay. the chat goes, one million dollar studio, guys. Something like that. Need, need mouse. To be fair, the PC didn't cost a million dollars. That's true. Right. PC the dream code, PC. though. The PC is innocent, guys. It wasn't actually even the PC. It was just the keyboard and mouse. So, Artizi nearly has another item. He has 5k gold. Yeah. That's pretty scary. Yeah, that fight that they just took very well could have just changed the, the outcome of the, of the game. game. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Empire was doing just fine in terms of pressuring and preventing the Naga to they go. They have no intention of letting up, by the way. Yeah. There's a smoke inside of the woods. They are all here, and so is Empire. They need a song to set up that two-man ice path like they oh, just did. No, Arteezy's uh, TPing away. He cancelled. He cancelled. Or no, the wolf killed, or the, the bird actually killed the creep. I think they should have taken that fight. They, they had positioning advantage, although... They didn't know that because, you know. Yeah. They didn't when the fight was in the middle, Mag had his BKB flying out to him, and it was like an inch away before he got sunk. 
Well, he would have just gotten snared, I think, if he had BKB. He can still force stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think it might have made a small difference. It's well, there's an Aghanim Starks here now. Yep. So this wall is going to be doing some work. I mean, it's already doing work, but uh, it's going to do more work. And hard to finish. Well, the last Mega. base defense wall that he dropped hit a support hero. <laughs> so I think it, it could true. potentially be better than that, is yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. Do you get Vengeance Aura, though? Yeah, you get every aura. Yeah, you get all auras. You get the Vlads, you get the Venge Aura, you get the AC. What else? Darks here, counter Flats. to aura strats. Do you get Vlads? Yeah, you get Vlads. Yeah, yep. okay. You uh, also get the uh, Splashing DK if he's in range for him. Yeah, he'll likely be. Which actually matters. That's yeah, that huge. is actually insane. AOE slow. Yeah. Just put it on a support and he's like, ah, oh, it's a dragon, what do I do? And it hits like harder than the normal dragon. Yeah, they actually want to go through mid. This is a really, really good opportunity oh, to find PPD. somebody. He, he wants, wants to get there. Dragon form. He's going to get stunned though. PPD oh. just melts. Ice Pass is going to hit the vacuum. The wall. Oh. That's on five. But Resolution on the back line. He's killing Mason. Mason oh, buys back. He time us back into the fight. RTC is dead. Oh my god. The damage. The deeps. So much cheap. I can't hold it in my hands. And Empire. It's just going to rack. And that's it. Man, it's never over until it's over. Mason died so fast. And then he popped back and, and died. And died instantly again. Don't go through the wall. All right, so I think Weaver not so great against these heroes. But here, where, where did the damage come from? They didn't oh, have that no. kind of damage. I mean, you have Hollow, you have Vengeance Sorry, you have Blast. Another okay. nice three man vacuum and right. the ice pad as well, but they just don't have the follow up. Oh, shit. Okay. He's alive. Still. Oh, no. Can't quite get away. Even with the lift on silent, the universe still ends up dropping. BKB pop by Mag, he gets a lasso as well on the Zai. He's getting pulled. Mag still alive, it's only for fire from long range. The ice path barely misses PPD. He can't stand to the burst. Resolution, he's like, okay. He's just going ham on the racks. Oh, he's no, got a BKB. He's got a BKB. Resolution. No, I think he's going to die. Oh, oh, maybe not. Juke around for the birds. Juke around for the wolves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One Basically, racks. That suicide that for the racks. One yeah. racks to save them all. All right, the birds are flying out of there as well. <laughs> they really oh, want these oh. birds. Oh no, he wants them dead. Size so gonna die. Oh, go <laughs> oh, no. oh, guys. Oh no, man. Oh no. One blood. hit. Oh, oh no. He had an urn that whole time, by the way. <laughs> Whoa. Detail. He didn't. He didn't use that urn. Casually not earning himself. Ooh, let's cancel time. the TP. <laughs> <laughs> Universe stuck there. He's got a blank. He'll be fine. Blank. All right, okay. What a game, though. Really freaking back and forth. Is like the game a... over yet? I I, I literally just is. called GG, but I, I mean, Arteezy is not GGing out for the team yet. How many racks left? One. One, one melee barracks. rack. One melee racks top. The the problem is is that both teams actually kill the base so fast that whoever basically goes to the opponent's huh. base first wins. Because yeah. if that fight goes favorably for you, you instantly get like two or three set of racks. Yes. Like just because, bam, we do. So in that. theory, if Empire has one of those bad fights that we saw earlier in the game, EG could just come back and take two racks and we'll be even. Yeah, but they have to consistently be out of their base, right? Like this is actually favorable for them right now because mid and top are both pushed past the river. RTZ TP's bottom too. So if they can keep the lanes out for a little while and like five man take a good fight, they could turn the game. But it's a really, really tall order. Because I'm surprised that Weaver also, uh, sorry to off, but he's going for some damage items. I just think he needs survivability. I think he needs like- Is he ever gonna have enough survivability though to live through that damage? If he has 30% evasion from Butterfly. Yeah, I think a Butterfly would Like, be. maybe, right? I don't know. I... Yeah, I think Butterfly would still be... Hey, it's better than Hyperstone, because be does he really need an attack speed? Hey, man. Go AC, kill the base faster. I don't think they're getting AC, right? Are they getting out of measure? Oh, Resolution gets flipped up a TPD, though. No, TPD, two hits, three hits. He's there. Meanwhile, Mason oh, gets dropped. The stun's going to be there. And look at the thieves. The dragon says no. The wall's going to come back in, but the damage already gone. Universe is going to die dead as well. Where's Artisi throughout all of this? Artisi in the back line here. They ping him out. He's slowed down. He's not going anywhere. No song for you, Artisi. Oh, the DK died. <laughs> to the illusion, yeah. Well, the DK died the illusion. Mag gets caught out by Zai as well, but the rest of Empire is coming in behind Zai. Flap your wings, dragon beef! Oh, that's an abyssal blade. Crap. That's, that's an abyssal, yeah, that's a sad, sad little dragon man. All right, how is... charging at them. Arteezy's gonna defend by himself. All right. Okay. He's taking oh, 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 people. <laughs> this could be a little bit questionable, boys. They're max damage birds. Don't purge until it goes. 
Yo. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, he's okay. He got to kill. I'm a wet one. Meanwhile, this is just silence. Like I'm out of here, boys. All right, the wolf army, man. What are you gonna do against that Rex? Back to region, though. They really are throwing their bodies for this Rex. Silent coming in, using his ult, but he gets ensnared. Oh, he gets lifted. Right. Silent's dead. Oh Jesus. Is this game of throws? <laughs> the beginning of a throw. He has buyback though. Okay, but hey. He should have lost saying, right there. RTZ had to buy back for that defense. Yeah, he did. That's okay, so I'm just saying, normally you buy Dyer's back and you're like, boys, I need attack. to hold this. RTZ says, no. I buy back, I walk out my base, and I song for support. And it worked out, because I don't know what happened with Empire. Well, with the max level song, it's only 60 second cooldown. Yeah, there's like actually no reason to not use it. Yeah. It, it just... The thing it's is, if, if, if they get into the base with three birds, visage, and the lichen, even through backdoor protection, I think they could have killed the Rax. Yeah. I think that's kind of why he did that, because he didn't want them to have more than one person inside the base. Because if it's just one, oh, an ensnare shoot. guarantees a kill, which is why Silent died. Yo, RTZ circling around, man. He's gonna find Vans Core. Oh, though. He's gonna go step there oh. when the Dragon Tail comes out. Resolution is so tanky. He even pops the Mjolnir on himself. RTZ comes in from the back. There's the BKB and Snare afterwards. Resolution just throwing him. He actually kills Zai. Just by auto attacking, Mason can be forced to Tylenx as well. Vanscore decides to illusions the universe inside of the base. Another gem on deck. Yeah, they want to go for the Rax. Back door top lane, though. It's going to be Matt going in. He's got the creep wave in. The birds are doing a ton of damage. I think the Rax is going to go down. The question is, can the rest of the team TVs. defend? Oh, PPD trying to run. He lives. He's going to toss him back. Me on Mason, just a pea shooter at this point. Mason. No, Mason trying to run. Mason's dead after one big hit. The teleport back from Mag. Rax Mega creeps. Mega creeps. Uh, Two gems, was guys. So close. One for each eye. PPD. He's got it all. The master of supports. But drum boots. But hey, man, you don't need. I need the little. He's got as two well. gems. What does he need upgraded boots for? He's so cute. He's not Ursa. Actually, you play Magic, right, Lumi? Yes. Do you remember the story of Ursa? No. The planeswalker. It was like all time planeswalker. He finds two gems. One gets into each eye. So now he becomes a planeswalker. It's really cool. I, I felt like there's some magic the gathering fans there, so shout out to them. Oh, RTZ trailer? He wants it, man. He wants Roshan so bad. Mega Creeps be damned. Yeah, RTZ he never gives up. Come back into <laughs> okay. Never surrender. Okay. Mag has a blink still. Yeah. He wants to, well, he is out of range of the Radiance, so if he wants to blink in, he can. But it's really dangerous. The song's down. They don't have resolution. He's looking for him. They are not giving up, man. He doesn't have buyback on Mag either. I think he, he just need to hold. Dude, RTZ's going for it. Look at Arteezy. He's these man scores. He doesn't care. That's nope. it. He doesn't care, man. This is this is it. This is their time. This is where this is where EG fight Radiance them. This is where they die. I think the worst silent needs to TP back, right? He's got 3.5k, he doesn't have buyback. He really needs to spend that gold as well. They need to the creep wave so badly to be with them right now. <laughs> like I actually they can't go through the back door Okay, region. they're just backdooring. Silent actually TP'd bottom. He's not even gonna fight. Look at the creeps! Oh shoot. Okay, lasso, mag, he catches RTZ, he's inside of the base, resolution pops to BK, he can rush with a nice vacuum actually on two, but the supports are so tanky at this point, Empire, they're defending this effortlessly, resolution is going completely ham, Mason dies as well, and RTZ calls it GG without the help of Silo. They managed to hold the entirety of EG off and kill the base at the same time. Well, double victory. Double victory. Does that mean they get two wins? No. One of them is a moral victory. One okay. of them for the for That's the in a different points. competition. Yeah. So, I think... I'll be honest, for a long time, I wasn't really sure about Ventral Spirit as a hero, like played competitively, because I feel like people put maybe too much emphasis on the swap.